Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look at, uh, at a Java library called Faker, and it is awesome. It is uh, yeah, the purpose is to generate uh, fake data for unit tests, for instance. And I think it's really, really good because I I sometimes have problems with finding uh, yeah or, or creating good uh, good data for unit tests. So uh, yeah, uh, let let us just get started. Let us just get started. I will just press this button right here. So I have created a uh, Spring Boot project as usual. I'll just go up here. Uh, I should have calibrated the background, but that's it's. I think it will it will be okay. So um, I've created this uh, Spring Boot project right here by pressing File, New, Project, and then the Spring Initializer, then I press Next, I chose the JDK 15, I chose Gradle right here, and again the Java version 15 right here. I gave it a good name, like Faker Demo, and then I ticked off Lombok, and then I chose Spring Web right here. Then I press Next, Next, Finish, and then I ended up with this project right here. Then I went to Faker's, uh, to the Faker uh, webpage, Java Faker right here. I read the documentation. It's very, very, uh, very, very simple, and it's uh, apparently it's taken from uh, Ruby's uh, Faker team. Uh, apparently, when you're if you're a Ruby developer, a Ruby on Rails developer, then you would actually know something about that. You actually had something. Uh, then you had a Faker uh, library there, so you can actually uh, create or generate uh, fake data. And that is exactly the same here that we're doing here. And you can see how easy, how simple the code is. We create a new faker, and then we can just get a name, or we can get an address, or a beer, or whatever we want to get. Um, first of all, we need to add the dependency right here, so that we need to add that to our Gradle file. Now I've done that right there. It's right here. After that, of course, you need to press the little update button right here, the synchronize button right there. And if you have, if you haven't enabled auto synchronize or auto import uh, as soon as you change something in the build dot gradle file. After that, then we are free to and happy to actually use the faker in a unit test. I've created this Java faker application uh, unit test right here. So uh, let me just change the chroma key just a little bit. Yes, sorry about that. So, um, yeah. So let us let us play around with the faker. First of all, you can choose. You can set a local when you when you create your your faker uh, faker that that uh, influences um, yeah some of the, the some of the values, and then you can actually just use print out stuff like here I have the address, uh, street name, and then we can also have the city maybe. Uh, let us say I want to get a. Uh, here, right here, they have a, an app, app dot, and again, you can actually see it's an object right here. Uh, so that is an app object, so that is the app class, um, an instance of the app class, and here we have the author name or version. So let us just take the app name right there, see, see what it gives us. Here we have the address, let us try something else, let us try to get a, and we can also get a boolean, I get, uh, what's, what, is, what is that, that is a bit, yeah, it just gives us true or false value. That is also good with Faker. Uh, it can also gives us it can also give us an beer if we're creating something with that actually uh, yeah that yeast. <laughs> Here we have something with the yeast. We can also have uh, the name of the beer. Let us also try to get the name of the beer right there. And let us add some prefixes so we know what is what because when we see the output uh, street name, then it can be difficult to see what is what. I really like this. For, uh, I think I will. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to use this a bit um, in, in my unit tests. I'm always choosing spaceships, and then I'm uh, always creating. Um, and I'm always setting Mike as the captain. Now I can actually just take a name from the faker. Here we have the app name, and here we have some yeast, yeast, and here we have the beer name, beer name. Like this, and yes. So let us run our unit test now. If I could hit the right button, like this. Let's see what happens now. In let's see what we get in output. Right here we have street name Ulmenweg, and you can you can actually see this is German names, right? So maybe we should choose something in Danish instead or English. There's no, uh, I don't think we can choose Danish uh, local. Then we have app name Sonia, whatever whatever that is. And then we have the yeast, 
then we have the beer name choice pistols very very cool and then let us try to run again just to see that we actually get some other values it should be random values mm. yeah some other some other values oaked arrogant bastard ale okay <laughs> it sounds a little bit uh, i know i'm not sure if that is a real beer name it's probably made up names uh, uh, yes um okay so that's it let us try to change the local to to the us instead and then we should see that the name should be in english instead of in german at least the street names and also the city names you will get it, uh, Dyer Park and Kalemouth and Fix Sand, that's an app name. Yeast, German Ale, Oct okay, it's just, and the, the beer name is the same. Okay, pretty awesome. Okay, now let us try to use it to some, for, for something useful actually. So let me actually, let me create the usual spaceship that I usually create. So I create a new package right here. Space, and then we create the spaceship. Spaceship like this, and we annotate it with data. Data, and maybe we will say builder. The builder person right here. Then we say private string. The model uh, of the spaceship. Private string captain. Name of the captain, and then we can have the private integer. And then there's a fuel level. Um, let us see if it can if it also supports integers. Maybe it also supports uh, uh, random integer. It should do that, right? Uh, but it maybe it doesn't because it's so easy. Okay, uh, here we have the spaceship, and of course we need to use the builder pattern. So I use builder right here, and then we have the fuel right there. Let us see if our faker has an integer. Does it have an integer values? ID number. Uh, number does it have it? Oh, yeah, that's a number and number between. Yeah, it's really really cool. This is this is awesome. Number between long, we could actually, yeah, close the second incident right here between um, 50 and 80 percent of fuel. And let us set the captain right here, faker dot name dot. Yeah, let us take a full name, right? Name with middle name, yes. And let us take, the, I think the full name is probably more fun. Uh, I'm not sure, we can always change it again. Then we have the model of the spaceship, what should the faker, maybe then, okay, what can we choose right here? Faker dot, what do we have right here? We have some business, we have a cat, we have Chuck Noise. Okay, let us try Chuck Noise dot facts. Okay, then we set the model name to a Chuck Noise fact, fact. and then we build the spaceship. And this is our spaceship, yes. Thank you very much. And then we print out the spaceship. Spaceship like this, plus spaceship. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Let us run it again. Control Shift F10. Or press the little green play button. So what, let us see what happens now. How I need to pull up. And what I'm interested in is actually the spaceship right here. Model Chuck Noise is immutable. If something is going to change, it's going to have to be the rest of the universe. Yeah, that was one of the Chuck Noise um, quotes. Then we have the captain, Raphael Raynor. Of course, Mike, uh, Mike sounds pretty cool, I think, but uh, this name here also sounds cool, right? So we have the fuel percentage, which is then 66%. I think it was, this was this, this this will definitely save me some time because I'm always trying to make up some data that I actually um, that that are sensible and then, then sometimes then I use the then I yeah then if I want a random number then I say new random and then I use modulus to uh, to give me the yeah to give me uh, a number that is between uh, a certain range and stuff like that so I uh, I really like Faker let me know what you think in the in the comments I'm going to uh, going to commit and push this code as usual to my github account thank you very much for watching another thing uh yeah join the discord if you have time there's a lot of friendly people there and now we can see my shirt is a bit transparent that is because i played around with the chroma key 
So now it's great. Almost. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. Hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.